Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to connect a namesip domain with the bloggers. The blogger is we have already visited oxyfinals.blogspot.com and this is our blogger dashboard and we have already created a website here oxyfinals.blogspot.com and this website is almost developing here just recently we have developed it and now we will connect a domain with this website. Here you can see oxyfinals.blogspot.com and we will connect here oxyfinals.com directly. So now we are going to this namesip account and we have created an mcp account and we have buy the domain here and just click on here so i'm going to dashboard again and so that i can show you easily so here is the dashboard and you can see here we have buy this domain oxyfinance.com and now we have to just click on here the manage button so you can go down and now we'll show that how to set up it so first of all you should not if you notice that your this is your name server and you have to check it you should be connected with your namesic basic dns so you have already selected that and if you select that other dns if you see that the existing dns so you just select here the name chip basic dns and click on to here the click on this the check mark button and it will be save your name chip server automatically here and now you have to go there the advanced dns so i'm going to here and now we will see here some record is almost added but we have to delete that record okay just delete it another one just delete that all they could so now we have to go here just copy this domain name and go to your blogger dashboard and go to here the setting icon just click on here and go to down you can see find here the custom url the custom domain and you can see the blogger that the basic dns domain is here so we will connect here the custom domain here just click on it and just type here first of all the www dot and then paste the domain name and click on to this save button it will not save it will ask you some queries you have to connect it that so you can see here the first of all go to your dns setting and type here the cname and you have to there cname on this cname record you have to add first the cname record and their cname record is value is the www and the destination is zh.google.com so we have to copy this first of all and go to your advanced genius setting click on here the add new record and you have to choose here the cname record click on here and host is www okay and go to your again here and the destination url is zh2.google.com copy this and go to here the target is here and here this ip system is automatically here so you can write it that's automatic just click on save and go to blogger dashboard again and you will find here the name server it's adding as the name server this is the name is so we have to copy this name so it will ask you for the name server so we have to add here just add a new record and we have to this cname record where is gone here is the cname record okay so cname record and we have copied this already so host here type this host data we have copied from there and the destination url we have to copy this copy it and go to here the target is paste here and click onto this save button and now we have to and this record is almost added but it's not saved currently so here is going to this asking the main show that something else we have to connect it you can see here let's just visit this link so copy this link here so we are going to copy it or you can also go to directly open here so i'm going to open a new tab just click on it and here some formalities have to we have to ip some the blogger ip connected we have to some connected here just go to this And go to down you will find here there you can find this dns record and we have to add a a record here you can see here this is the ip address so we have to copy this is of this fourth ip address and we have to connect it here the a record so click on add new record and type here the a record and host here this at the rate of First, we have to type at the letter and here is IP address and it will be automatic. So we have to connect it more one by one. 
so go to again and copy the second IP address connected it again click on the a record and add the rate of just click on this and connected this all IP address one by one sorry just connect it I'm just connecting this all okay the four IP address is almost connected and the name server CNAME record also connected so this all data is connected successfully and now we have to go here and click on this save button and let's see it will be save or not if this data is successfully updated and it will be successful you can see here the custom domain has been successfully added here the domain is successfully added so now we have to click on this the redirect just click on the domain redirect and click on this https ability so that will be successfully added your https successfully so that for example if we can reload this previous login the blog spot you can see it's not opening so now we have to connect it doxyfinance.com so you can see here this oxyfinance.com this website is not opening and it must be this is the domain setup the technical setup section so it will be take some time to connect it so we have to wait for some time this is almost connected successfully so now we have to wait for some time and let's see it will be connected or not so just i'm pausing these videos and i will you know resume this when this update is successful from the dns service from this this record after waiting some time the domain is successfully connected with the blogger and you can see here the blogger the domain is oxyfinance.com so the blogger is successfully connected and we can also reload this and i will check it here and you can see that everything is working as well and everything is working fine here so you can find here the not secure showing here the not secure showing because the ssl is not connected with the domain yet now when the ssl is connected with the domain is successfully then it will be show here a log icon here the set log means the secure icon the ssl secure the log icon will be show here when the domain is ssl is connected with the domain so hope you understand this the full process and how to connect your namesake domain with the bloggers and the full process and i have showed the live tutorial here i have connected with that website here this oxyfinance.com so if you enjoyed this video if you enjoyed this video please like on this and share this with your friends and please subscribe and press the bell icon for all updates thank you so much for watching this video and goodbye